All right. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is well. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope everyone had a great weekend, beginning of the week. Me, mas o menos. I see, I see. Um, I'm feeling a little better now. Thanks to everybody, anybody asking or anybody cares. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to try to keep this under 20 minutes. We'll see. Uh, I got some things in store that I want to talk about. So, let's get into it. Take my glasses off, okay? All right. <clears throat> the first thing I wanted to talk about is a procedure that has been going on for a while for epileptic people from children to uh, adults. They say it's best to get it at a young age so the brain can develop the best that it can. Um, it's actually called VNS. And it is VNS stands for Vagus Nerve Stimulation. And this uh, device is therapy that's designed specifically for people still living with seizures despite trying multiple medications and is a proven long-term solution already been used by more than 100,000 people around the world, including more than 333,000 children. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about this is because this was offered I'm getting kind of hot already. This was offered actually to my son at a young age. But once I heard surgery, heart, brain, I'm like, no, that's too evasive. Um, but now I feel a little different. I don't know. Maybe if I would have done it when he was younger, things might be different. I'm not sure. But at this point in his life, uh, I, 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 you know, I really have to meditate on it. But they claim, they claim that this, uh, the benefits are, Fewer seizures, shorter seizures, better seizure recovery, decreased seizure activity, less medication, improved alertness, mood, and memory, reduction in status epileptics, and improvement quality of life, fewer hospital and ER visits. Um, and I'm going to show you a picture of it. This is what it looks like you have this here at the heart and you have this here and it goes to the brain and it's a magnet that they use to stop the brain the generator is right here the lead is right here and the vagus nerve is right here and so they insert this in your body and if you have a seizure, it's supposed to actually stop the seizure immediately and they have like a magnet and you you, you go like this over your heart and it's supposed to stop it. Now with my son, he might be able to catch on, may not to do that. Um, so I would have one on my own and I would be able to swipe at his heart and it's supposed to stop the seizure. Now, um, the only thing, information that I didn't get off of here is how many times can you swipe it in one day? Will it cause any issues if you got to swipe it more than four or five times? There are side effects, but this is not brain surgery, but it's VNS. Um, they show a lot of people on here that's actually benefited from it. With my son, he has actual visible seizures that I know and confirm that has a seizure. I would say they're very sporadic and they actually come. Okay, he might have one every, every month. He might have one every other month. He might go three months without having a seizure. So I wasn't really sure on that. This seems like for people who have a, a whole bunch of day or weekly. Also, my son's seizures usually last 30 seconds to a minute. And these are supposed to make them shorter. And I think that's pretty short. Also, his recovery time. When he was itty bitty, he would take a day to recover now that he's older uh he's learned to deal with it and sometimes it could be 30 minutes sometimes it could be two hours but he definitely comes out and you know gets back quicker depending on if it's nothing really big like a flu or something like that but usually my son only has seizures 
if he's sick or uh, he has photo sens sensitivity as well. Um, if he's too cold, too hot, if he hasn't had enough sleep, um, there's many other reasons why my son might be growing. Um, he can't have milk or orange juice. So there's many different factors to that. And I was told by my doctor that when he did his EEG, he did not have any seizures while he was awoke. As soon as he fell asleep, his seizure activity just went crazy. That's what they showed me on the video anyway. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, what else did I want to tell you about this? The seizure type best for this is partial onset, if you guys know that jargon. Um, the estimate, estimated battery life is four to nine year, to ten years, actually. And it's it's been FDA approved. And this is what... Wait, hold on. Some of the side effects are hoarseness, short of breath, sore throat, and coughing. And they say that they decrease eventually at, over time. Um, like I said, maybe at four years old, if I would have did it, it may have helped him cognitive and things like that. But he's, I think he's a little bit too old now. And he also had a, a surgery back in 2006 for his ptosis in his eye and muscle surgery for his eye. And the muscle surgery went good, but the ptosis did not. Now, the ptosis is, his lid is a lower than the other lid. So it's like, um, and I don't know if that's a, a, a vitamin issue or what, because sometimes when I give, when I make sure I give him his vitamins like he's supposed to, his lid goes up. Anyway, long story short, he had surgery and he had a cortex a vortex put into his eye, which was made from NASA. And boy, got cellulitis. I think that's what you call it. Cellulitis. Oh, my goodness. It was so bad. He had to be hospitalized for a week. He had green pus coming out of every place of his face. He looked like an alien. I mean, it was bad. His teacher even came to visit him. And he couldn't even see. His eyes were shut closed. He couldn't even see us. He was like a blind man. It was really bad. I took a picture of it, but... I don't know what happened to it. It was really, really bad. So I'm not really into surgeries. <laughs> I was pretty much traumatized. I'm trying to think what else did, did I want to tell you about this. Because it might work for other people, you know. Um, They want you to know that it's not brain surgery. It's a small device, a generator, implanted in the chest with a... And a thin wire lead connects to the device, the vagus nerve in the neck. This occurs during a short outpatient procedure, which involves two incisions and is typically performed under general anesthesia. Um, they say it's not a lot of scarring. Yeah, you might have problems going to the airport, but they will give you a card. If not, you can just ask to be pat down. Um... What else did I want to tell you about VNS surgery? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to prevent seizures before they start or stop them if they do. Now, I just got a new doctor from DeMarco. That's why I got this information once again. Like I said, I got it when he was a little itty bitty and I'm getting it again. And I'm trying to get the doctor to give me CBD oil. And he said that they no longer, they used to have a, their own little thing and dispensary, but now they've, uh, my, you know, they basically got a synthetic form of it. So you know how that goes. Uh, so I said that I would let, let my son try that and, and go from there. Um, he hasn't started it yet, but we, we're going to see. But like I said, this sounds like this would be good for someone who has a lot of seizures. Not my son, per se. I don't think this would be good for him. Um, only because he doesn't have a whole bunch a day. But let the doctor tell it as soon as he goes to sleep. They're just out of control. So, I think that's it when it comes to this particular topic. VNS. And it's a toll-free number. 888-867-7846 or you can go to vnstherapy.com and if you have any more questions for me just leave a comment or something okay next uh, let me figure out what i was going to talk about next <laughs> let me 
see. Okay. Oh, I wanted to talk about this program that I was able to uh, participate some years ago. It's called Families First, and it's a program within a program called Ways to Work. And in this program, when I was involved in the program, what they do is they give you a loan to buy a car with a very low interest rate to help you to get to work. It's called Ways to Work. And you can look it up, Google it, um, go to Families First, and then go to uh, Ways to Work. And I think the go-to guy's name is Tim. If they haven't replaced him or he hasn't, whatever, it should be Tim. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that because... Uh, it's good, and I believe at the time they give you up to six thousand dollars loan, and they give you a pretty low, good percentage rate, not twenty four or nothing like that. And they they don't go by your credit, obviously. Uh, but it's a good program, and if you're in need of a car and you want, you know, you need some help, then look up, look them up, and um, do what you got to do. Families first, ways to work. Okay, uh, special needs parents sometimes. We have problems with, you know, doing certain things for our kids. Hygiene is one thing. Um, I know that my son, after, I want to say, 12 or 13, he got to the point where he didn't want to, you know, simulate brushing his teeth or have me do it either. So it got kind of difficult, he, you know, and he's strong, too. He's not, you know, he's, you know, he's a strong little boy. So... <laughs> It got kind of hectic. And then sometimes, you know, you just can't do it. So what I advise that I actually got from a support group back in the day at DeMarco School at Alpharetta, Alpharetta Harper in uh, Clayton County. His teacher was May. She was, I loved her. She did sign language and everything. I love that teacher. Um, but uh, they gave me the recommendation and I've been doing that ever since when if I'm tired of my son just really not cooperating I'll take a warm rag and slide and, and nicely you know rub you know inside of his mouth to get all that the stuff that you can see up out his mouth because that's one of my things I cannot stand yellow teeth you know I got my own teeth issues <laughs> If anybody's paying attention, but um, it's all good. So I'm trying to keep my son with all his teeth intact. Okay, so that's what I do. Um, if he's giving me a hard time, I take a warm, warm rag and just wipe his teeth very gently. Um, to make a long story interminable. <laughs> okay. Um, I also let me see how much time I got left. Hold on. Okay, 12 minutes. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Okay. All right. No, let me stop. Um, so now what I wanted to talk about is teachers versus paraprofessionals. Usually if your child is in a special education class, it's not just going to be one teacher. It's going to be the teacher and two to four paraprofessionals to help the teacher throughout the day. Why I'm talking about this is because there's a difference. Sometimes your son, I mean your son, your child could be left with a paraprofessional all day and they're taking care of your child. One issue that I ran into when my son was going to Stockbridge High School was most of the time the paraprofessional would take care of my child, but they would never be in the room for the IEP or um, they advised me at first that the paraprofessionals could not talk to me and I could not talk to them. And then they changed it up because I told them, put it in writing. You know, put that in writing. I want to see that in writing. And then they said, oh, they're not obligated to talk to you. I'm like, huh, what? So you mean to tell me this person is with my son all day and they can't report to me and tell me what happened? And the issue was that something happened to my son at school and the teacher wasn't there that day and it was all paraprofessionals and I asked to speak to one and he was just like you know oh no you can't do that it was like top secret and I'm just like oh so if you get to the school and they telling you that you can't talk to the paraprofessionals and the paraprofessionals can't talk to you and all that that's a bunch of that's a bunch of bull and you be you better stand up and say hey we're not going for that let's have a meeting we're going to we're going to switch this out already because you know that's don't that don't even sound right. Not even for one minute you can't talk to the person that's with your son 24-7. I don't think so. So just be mindful that most of the time your child is being taken care of by a paraprofessional. And you want to basically keep yourself updated with them as well. 
and have a rapport with them. And if they refuse to have a rapport with you, then you take your son or your child out of that school, okay? Um, and what else did I want to talk about? I did... Oh, gosh. I did want to talk about two... Well, one. I'm just going to tell you one right now. Um, a company that is reputable when it comes to CBD and they're not outrageous prices. It's called Haley's Hope. Okay, so if anybody's looking into getting some CBD for their child or whatever, uh, for uh, medical use, medicinal, whatever you want to call it, it's a group called Haley's Hope. And this was referred to me by a doctor. So hopefully, you know, they're on the up and up. Um, da -da 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 -da. What else did I want to talk about? Um, just really quickly, you know, I see a lot of people talking about people on welfare, food stamps, Section 8, um, just any governmental program, and they want to talk about them, and they want to say, oh, they got food stamps, but they got an iPhone. They give, you know, welfare, but they got Jordans on, blah, 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 skippity woo. Okay. I really get offended because you don't know what people are going through, and who are you to judge, okay? Poor people can't get gifts. You know, I remember one day my mother set me straight. It was years ago. I was one of those people who was like, oh, she got food stamps and she... I'm going to say, hold up, hold up, hold up. How you know that she had been working all, all her life and then all of a sudden she gets laid off and she has to get food stamps? Was she supposed to throw away her iPhone, throw away her fancy shoes to make the cashier happy? I don't think so. You don't know what people are going through, so stop all that judgment when you see people having things. They don't deserve to have things. Now, if they're putting material things over getting food, and that's totally different. But don't assume that that's what they're doing. It's ugly. It's not nice. And hopefully you never have to stand in that line and ask for food stamps, baby. So enough of that. I just want, you know, I just want to let you know that gets under my skin. And y'all really need to stop it. <laughs> okay. Now, I wanted to talk about one um, one more thing, and I wanted to say about relationships. Now, this is not a relationship YouTube channel. This, you know, I'm not a, a, a specialist. I, you know, but I, I don't even have a husband. Okay, but I did want to tell you about. I need to get a little closer on this one about relationships. And what I think is a, a deal breaker. I think that it's important that if you're going to be with somebody and marry somebody, that whatever is important to you should be important to them. Does that make sense? I think that if something is extremely important to you and it's not important to your spouse, it's going to be a problem because if something happens... They're just like, oh, you know, here we go again. And you're broken heart and they looking at you like, why are you tripping? It's not a big deal. You know, and sometimes when you love people, you have to make things that's important to them important to you. As long as it's not going against your integrity and, and God and, you know, making you do something legal or bad, why not? You know, so I just think that is so important that you guys have to find the same things important. You know, it's easier to come together. Because whatever they're going through or whatever is important to them, they're going to stick it out. You know, they're go you're going to make it. So I just, that's the only thing I want to say about relationships. And, and that goes with any type of relationship, not just a spouse. It goes with brother, sister, you know, friendship. You know, you got to have something in common to whereas you can come together and say, yeah, this is both important to us and not wave each other down and say that ain't important or you tripping or you too sensitive or whatever, you know. So that's all I wanted to say about relationships. And um, I also wanted to recommend a movie to you. It's an old, oldie but goodie. It's a made-for-TV movie, but one of my favorite movies. Um, it's about life, love, racism, sexism, um, poverty, oppression, music, dance, laughter, love, heartbreak, children. Marriage, a lot of you have seen it, but I think you should see it again. 
I don't got my glasses on, so I'm squinting a lot. Um, Josephine Baker's story. Did it stop? Oh, okay. The light flashed. Oh, I thought it stopped. 20 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's 20 minutes. Okay, y'all. Josephine Baker's story starring Lynn Whitfield, one of my favorite actresses in the whole wide world. I watched this movie with my mother and it meant so much to me because I have so many great memories. But this woman, Josephine Baker, what an extraordinary woman. To defy the odds, being hated in her own birth country, the place that she gave her first breath to, rejected her, told her she wasn't good enough. She goes to a whole nother place. Patty. Oh, gay Patty. And they embrace her. It wasn't perfect. They made fun of her too. Called her monkey and all that. But she was embraced. She was loved. And she found acceptance, acknowledgement, fame, and fortune there. Um, and she ended up adopting a lot of children. She was close to her mother. And she adopted children from all walks of life. Uh, also, her ending wasn't uh, favorable. Her ending wasn't ideal. But it was raw and it was real. Very intense. And I think that everyone, especially women, should watch this movie. Um, it put an imprint on me to this day. So uh, I just want to recommend the Josephine Baker story. Uh, very good movie. So my time is up. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching my show, or watching my little YouTube channel, or watch me on Instagram, whatever. I really appreciate it. This is like therapy for me, and hopefully I can help somebody else. Uh, if you're watching YouTube, please subscribe, please like, please comment. And if you're on Instagram, my... Uh, tag name or whatever you want to call it is look for me in paradise um and i'm sweetie centric on youtube thank you so much for your time uh i hope to see you guys next week i should have a video for you guys next week um if not you know uh, it'll be the next week and hopefully i see you guys soon if not look for me in paradise